Hey everybody, how you doing today? We're gonna do a quick one today. I'm gonna we're getting ready to make our um, shredded beef tacos for dinner, and I wanted to share my guacamole recipe with you. It's very simple. This is gonna be done in a couple of minutes. Very quick video. Um, hope you try it out. It's really tasty. So what we're going to start off with here is I got two ripe avocados from the grocery store today. So I'm going to put those in. Got them all out of the peel and ready to rumble. So with that, I don't want to lose any of that good stuff. I'm going to add, I've got a tablespoon here of minced garlic. This is pre-minced. I um, actually got this a while ago. Oh, I'm trying to get it in the shot. So we're going to do that. So rather than try and show you, I'm just going to start dumping. So we got that. <clears throat> in addition to that, we have one tablespoon of lemon juice. I don't use lime. I like my lemon. I've got a teaspoon of salt, pepper, garlic here that I'm going to dump in. I've got so about an eighth of a cup of sour cream. Since this is a small batch, I didn't want to go big, so we'll get that in there. And then I'm going to hold off here for a minute, but I have about an eighth of a cup of our homemade salsa. So what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to get this lid locked. I'm going to start pulsing. <laughs> all blended up. Now I like my guacamole a little creamier than most people, but it is what it is. This this um, food processor doesn't like to get everything too creamy, so this will be a little chunky, but it's okay because it tastes really good. Let's lock this again. Okay, and now I'm going to just the last thing I'm going to add. This is um, our homemade salsa. It's about an eighth of a cup of salsa. Um, rather than putting the tomatoes and onions and all that stuff in there, making extra work, I just go ahead and use the salsa. It gives it a little kick, it gives it a great flavor, and you don't have to spend all that time dicing and slicing. And if you don't have your own, Salsa, you can use your favorite brand from the grocery store. Doesn't really matter. Let's get this all pushed down. And it is done. Now all you got to do is put it in a container, throw it in the fridge for a couple hours, let those flavors marry, and you are good to go. So with that, I'm going to bid you adieu. Thank you all for coming along today, and I will show you what it looks like in a container. I can tell you right now, I can smell it. It smells delicious. So we will see you later, folks. God bless.